Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CVEO. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame thing does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today the price made a really nice move. I mean, when you consider where the price was yesterday and then you look at where the price closed today, any rational person is gonna say, yeah, the bulls definitely made a very nice move on the day. However, that does lead to the valid question though of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area. And that area is right here at, uh, what is that? $3.90. Why is three ninety so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on the logic that price movements with true power, with genuine strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, if a price movement is truly powerful, it's not gonna go back to where it was. That would be a contradiction. Exactly, so with that in mind, think about 390. Any sort of closes below there or worse yet, if the price separates to the downside, what would that be doing to the price? That would literally be putting the price right back inside of this big old range that it just broke out from. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Or let's say there's a pretty drastic pullback and the price comes all the way here, behaves in that manner, and then starts to work its way back upwards. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have that base of lows right here. If you picture each one of these as stair steps, well, hey, now you have progress being made in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. It's all about showing progress. And in this situation, I am defining and quantifying that phrase of progress as 390. As far as levels of support, or excuse me, as resistance, not even gonna touch on those because in my opinion, top priority right now is not breaking levels of resistance. It's all about going through some healthy consolidations and building higher bases because as long as higher bases are built over time, that's how those long-term uptrends are constructed. So no doubt about it, nice breakout move today. Now it's just a question of can the bulls build upon this breakout going forward? We shall see, but it all starts with staying up above 390. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.